Hello air signs, welcome and welcome if you are new, if you're watching me for the first time. This is your weekly um, weekly oracle guidance for the week of the first week of September. Um, I don't know how soon or how late I'll be able to get out your actual reading, so forgive me. Personal things are going on, so until I get some organization in my life, um, I'm going to get to you what I can. I'm still available for personal readings. Um, and I still have a pretty decent um, turnaround time. Um, but just the general readings because of the way I like to do things. I'm just going to be able to, I'm going to have to get to them when I can. So um, just an FYI if you're looking out for them. If you really, really want a reading, I am available for personal reading. So keep that in mind and all of the information is below. This is for air signs, so that would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter in your chart, for any of those signs, you can watch this reading. Um, it's just weekly oracle guidance to let you know um, what's coming, give you a little heads up, any situations that you are dealing with or may be dealing with during this week. Um, just to kind of give you some guidance, help you make decisions, or help you make peace with anything that's happening. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm going to lead with the Kipper deck. I feel like I'm forgetting to mention something. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's coming for you for air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is happening during this week? Divine, show me what's going on in the first week of September for air signs. going on for air signs all right courtship main female and concern so there's probably some new type new relationship um, or relationship to, I mean friendship uh, relationship any kind of relationship honestly pathway is here also at the bottom of the deck so this represents a journey a path could be traveling um, I think this just represents some type of journey. Could be like a twin flame journey also. Because we have male, female, male, female, and then we have 33. Someone's concerned. You could be concerned about your female counterpart or the masculine could be concerned with the feminine. And we all have masculine and feminine energy. So it's just about whichever energy is dominant within you at this present moment or whenever this reading resonates with you. But this can represent a new friendship, a new relationship, where there's a lot of love, possibly flirting. Um, there could be a lot of compatibility or chemistry between you two. I feel like there was there was some there was something building, and then it's kind of like you don't really know where it's going now. This also represents a path. A uh, pathway represents the time frame of one to two years. So maybe it's uh, maybe you've been together for one or two years or something's going to change within the next one or two years. Message is just beneath that. So I think someone does want to make um, some type of communication. There may not be any communication right now. Judging by concern, I don't think there is communication. This represents the need or the desire for deep romance and, and, um, and love with main female represent your feminine energy or um, a female in your life female that you're concerned about that you're thinking about there's concern about this relationship I think about maybe the future of it the path where it's going where it's headed whether this is a relationship or um, a situation whatever it is I think there's some concern about the the future of it or where it's going Tell me more about this situation for air signs. That came out spun all around. Firm foundation. So maybe the foundation <laughs> for for. So maybe the foundation, I was just about to say, maybe the foundation that this courtship was built on um, wasn't 
firm was it sturdy enough and now someone's concerned about whether where it's going maybe there's not communication right now because these people are both single in this picture i mean in these cards you were together at some point but i think there's some type of separation and now there's concern about where this is going show me more for air signs please universe is here anything else for okay. memories of love so this could be a relationship from the past one to two years maybe this is someone from your past who you haven't dealt with or seen for one or two years or something like that it doesn't have to be um, partnerships and alliances at the bottom of the deck so maybe this is someone who you felt like you built some type of trust with or you were building something with there's someone is doing some shadow work or has done some shadow work maybe you've made some type of realiza realization you've come to some type of realization about this partnership or about this connection maybe you realized it was an alliance here there was something here maybe you just realized the foundation was faulty with universe here because this represents a major chapter um it's like the world card in tarot Yeah, it represents the journey as well, coming a, coming a long way. And then memories of love here uh, makes me think of the Six of Cups, like memories, nostalgia. And I think you're thinking about sending this person a message because Pathway is here, like this journey that you've been on. It's like you're kind of like reminiscing about some, about certain things, certain certain details about this partnership, about this alliance. And you want to send this person a message. This person could be an entrepreneur with occupation and toil and labor here if you want to give them some type of gift just beneath that or something that could apply to just a few of y'all but i think there was a realiza realization about the foundation of this connection not being stable this card um let's see it represents the, the material world using good judgment and heeding lessons from past from the past concerning financial matters uh, will assist you in laying groundwork um, security will also have a better chance I think it just comes from a place of I know better now I know better now I know how to build a firm foundation now there's a better chance for the future whether this is an old relationship whether you're looking to past situations like reflecting on your journey and looking overlooking past partnerships alliances relationships and looking at the foundation it's like you know the difference whether or not it was um this particular relationship you learned it from or another relationship whatever you learn from a past situation you can apply it to this new relationship that you may be in or thinking about initiating or concerned with maybe it's still pretty new and you're still building in which case you have the opportunity to still work on the foundation don't let your current position determine who you are remember to give back and and prime the pump of prosperity for true spiritual and material wealth is much about is as much about giving as it is receiving seek proper investment advice and realize you don't have to hold on to your position possessions too tightly just be flexible and allow things to continue to flow yeah i think something about there could have been like a materialistic aspect of this that someone's learned to get over or maybe someone was kind of like possessive or kind of uh, I don't want to say clingy but in a sense clingy and something something someone has learned or something will someone will be learning through some shadow work coming to some type of realization about the foundation of partnerships along their journey Who does? <laughs> and then yeah, everything you've strived for is within your reach. It reflects the works that you've done and accomplished. Could also represent traveling. What's up? It represents your path as well, your journey as well. 
The world is yours to command. You're free to travel in whichever direction your heart desires. Yeah, you can go whichever way you want to go with it. And I think you've learned from the past. You've done some reminiscing and you've thought back on... You know, I think you've weighed out what worked and what didn't work. What benefited the foundation what didn't. And now you know how to move forward. <laughs> Y'all so silly. Yeah, this represents nostalgia. It could also be like an old friend or an acquaintance. Maybe somebody's come back into your life. Maybe you're going to be meeting this person or running into this person or something and it's going to trigger all of this. Or maybe you are actively, you know, thinking about sending, sending this person a message. Or maybe, I don't know. It could happen different ways for different groups of you. There are some happy memories, though, with this person good times and the number six relates to support unity balance your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past but use it as inspiration and joy for um oh from that time to assist you in the here and now yep definitely let's see let's see let's see Making for air sign. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. And I think you, like, if you're running into this person, is because it's time you've learned the lessons children there could be children involved this could also represent your inner child um your love life is being affected by children one of you could have children you could have children together but i think all of the lessons you've learned you come to a to a like a phase of completion in some area and i think this is just like focusing on what you want not the things you don't want. Focusing on what you do want so that you draw that in. Retreat is time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, I think there is a need to kind of just get focused. You see, like with Pathway here, just kind of secluded and kind of off the grid. There's just a need to withdraw and really go within and take care of yourself. Maybe focus on your own children or your inner child. And just make sure you're doing the work, the prayers, the affirmations, the visualizations that you need to um, draw in this person. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there could be a new love with this existing connection, like with this person from your past. Or you could just be reflecting on the past to learn to... Um, Maybe you're reflecting on the past and you're realizing certain things that you experienced or went through and why, why you went through it and how it's going to help you in the future. And once you have that realization, you have those like aha moments, you get a little bit more comfortable with this journey. I think there is a kind of need to retreat and to just um, not necessarily go hermit, but really just make sure you're focused and um, all of your energy is going internally if that makes sense let's get some divine energy sorry about the interruptions be true to yourself absolutely I think there's a need to kind of tune out the things that are going on around you so that you can hear yourself properly. Let go and enjoy. Let go of the way you things, think things are supposed to be. Let go of worries, doubts, because that could also be associated with concern. Um, you could be thinking so deeply about something because you're worried or you're, you're scared about something not going your way. Let go of that, release that, and just enjoy the moments. Be in the here and now. 
Don't get so caught up in the past that you forget to be in the moment right now. Be true to yourself. Do what do what feels natural to you. Go down the path that um, feels right. Say no. There may be something that you need to say no to. I think I want to read from the book about that card. Correct your mistakes. Yeah, like I said, you've learned from the past. And you know moving forward what to do, what not to do. You, you're you're going to do that. You already know that. And I think this is just a reminder to make sure that you are really going within, like, retreat. Spending some time alone so that you can really go within and do that shadow work that needs to be done. So you can figure out what it is that you really get down to it. Like, okay, maybe you realize on a surface level. And then when you retreat, you go deeper. You realize even more. You correct your mistakes. You say no to those things. Admit your vulnerabilities. Yeah, you have to. You have to be real with yourself. And you have to just admit where things didn't go right. Um, where you may have contributed to the fault of something. And you saying no. Like, okay, no, I'm not doing that again. I know better now. Be of service. It represents, um, you know, being of service. Doing the things that you're good at. Um, to bring assistance or love or support to someone else. I think you're being of service to yourself as well. Like, um, you're doing a service to yourself in the sense that you're being true to yourself and you're doing, um, you're doing, you're doing things the right way, correcting your mistakes, like almost making amends. Maybe if something really went bad within this situation. Maybe this is your ex. Maybe y'all are coming to some type. It doesn't have to be. Maybe y'all have a child together, but maybe you aren't together. Um, maybe this is you, you know, admitting some things that you had done wrong and y'all are coming to like some type of truce because you have to have a partnership. You have to build this alliance. You have to learn how to work it out for the sake of your child or something like that. Like being the bigger person or really just going within and figuring out, you know what? You're right. I was wrong. I didn't do that correctly. But I know better now. I know moving forward what to do and what not to do. And I think as you kind of achieve this new level of like this new lesson, once you learn this lesson, you achieve this new level in life, you draw in new love, you draw in new experiences, and you free yourself time to take back control of your life absolutely you free yourself from worrying about whether or not things are going to work out because you know you know better anything else for air signs spaciousness what do i hold on what do i no longer need help me god to release whatever people places or things drain my vital essence show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy absolutely being open to letting go of the things that um, no longer serve you also releasing things and also ways patterns habits work i'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine source is complete is my complete the divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. Maybe some of you are struggling with work and you need this. You need to hear this. Be of service and do something different. It's at the bottom of the deck. It's about um taking taking the um the approach that is less that you were less likely to naturally take like if you would usually speak up then it's time to say little if you would usually not say much it's time to speak up you know um and vice versa whatever it is that you would normally do do the opposite this time there's something that you can do to be of service and if you're not sure what that thing is ask for the divine to send you the people who need help from you um and you'll notice you'll start to notice where you're being of service intention is simply allowing the will 
and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on my highest, on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me to come true. So I think when um, when you have the right intention and you also implement the lessons that you've learned from the past. And I think with spaciousness, clearing your energy, whether it's your room, your house, your, your car, your mental space, your emotional space, clearing your energy, doing those things of self-care, learning from your past mistakes, butterflies are here as well, change, transformation. Um, I was going somewhere. Oh yeah, making sure you set your intentions. Like during this time, we're still in the waning phases right now when I'm filming this, but after the 31st, you know, that's our new moon, you set your, or a dark moon, you can set your new moon intentions. And during the waxing phases of the moon until we get to our next full moon, which is, I don't know, somewhere between the 13th and the 15th or something, I don't know, of September. But you start setting your intentions. And I think as long as your intentions are correct and you start implementing the changes that need to be made in your life, these partnerships and alliances will fall together. I think as long as you're doing the work that you need to be doing, and then we have rejoice and celebration, you're going to be coming together and celebrating and everything's going to be falling in line, especially with work, your relationships, partnerships of all kind at the bottom of the deck direction lord please show me the right direction right now please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction may i hear the promptings of my own body and if for some reason i'm about to head the wrong way please stop me and i think this is just when you get to a place where you're um comfortable with the journey and you're comfortable um with things changing um, and you stop worrying you clear your energy of worrying you can ask for the divine to show you and you'll you'll be in a place where you can trust your intuition and when things you know when you would usually go right and going right feels natural to you and that's what's comfortable when you hear that voice that says go left you won't question it you'll just go you won't sit there and be like well why I always go right no you'll hear that voice you'll trust it and I think this is very 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 important spaciousness clearing your energy so so still like whenever you see this video whenever you see this reading figure out where you need to clear your energy there's still some shadow work that needs to be done there's a lot of change and transformation taking place pluto still retrograde for a while and capricorn currently saturn still retrograde and saturn i'm saying saturn still retrograde and capricorn as well so i think clearing your energy will do a great deal of justice for you to allow new things to come in and also to clear clear clutter and distractions from around you because the concern is here so there's less to worry about at that point and if you're worried about this connection or the foundation of this connection you've learned from the past you've learned from the past and it's just time to clear your energy so that you can draw it in and just use your prayers your affirmations and visualizations to draw it in and also just kind of you got to go about doing things differently admit admit your vulnerabilities admit where you fall short and correct your mistakes anything that you've done commit correct your mistakes correct your faulty foundation you have the opportunity to you have the ability to um and i think you have the desire to so that's your reading. Best of luck, Air Signs. I hope that was helpful. And if it resonates, please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading or donate, I would love that. The information is below. If you want to connect with me on social media, that information is below as well. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Thanks for watching.